What if we told you that this bug will come at night, suck your blood, and leave a deadly disease inside of you? You don't have to smash that like button, because that's what the kissing bug does. If you're thinking that's a cute name to give to a bug, let us first tell you what this thing does. The kissing bug, also known as the vampire bugs, are only active at night. There are more than 130 species of them, and all of them feed on the blood of animals. They are mainly found in South and North America, but some species have been found in Africa, Asia, and Australia. These bugs usually live in dark places during the day, and they feed during nighttime. Because the only parts of people that are uncovered when sleeping are the heads and hands, this is where these bugs will leave their bite. They will suck the blood with a painless bite that's so painless you will not even detect them. This wouldn't be too bad, but the kissing bug transmits the Chagas disease. And because the symptoms of the disease are mild in the beginning, it's difficult to detect before it's too late. Some people swell up after the bug bite, which could be a good indicator as it tells the individual they've been kissed while sleeping. Generally found in the forests of Central and South America, the bullet ant has the most painful sting of any insect on the planet. On the Schmidt's Sting Pain Index, they rate at 4 plus. And according to Schmidt, that would be like walking over flaming charcoal with a 3-inch nail in your heel. Okay, thanks for the nightmares. Unlike regular ants, these guys can grow to be up to 1.2 inches or 3 centimeters in length. They have a reddish black exoskeleton, and they are predators by nature. As soon as people hear the word bullet ant, they think these animals hunt down humans and sting them to death. They are not at all aggressive, unless you attack their nests, at which point you will feel every single bite of those mandibles. Weird as it may sound, some cultures and tribes across Southern America use them to smash that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. <laughs> But no, in all seriousness, they use the bullet ants during initiation rituals. In other words, before a teenage boy could be considered a male, they will have to put their hands in banana leaves filled with these ants. And they don't just keep their hand in there steadily. They have to dance with the elders and not pass out. If they do pass out, they are not worthy of becoming men, and the ritual will be postponed for later. Bullet ants might not be aggressive, but that's why we have fire ants. They are usually distributed in the southern and western states of the U.S., and they can be very dangerous. You will know fire ants are in the area if you see a 1 foot or 30 centimeter high mount. And if you observe them up close, you will notice that their anthill doesn't have just one entrance. They have several of them. Whatever you do, do not touch or mess with their mount. If you do, Prepare to have 200,000 ants swarm your body and sting incessantly. The ants are very aggressive, and instead of stinging repeatedly, they will bite once and latch onto your skin, then sting you rapidly several times in the same spot. Oh, and they have no problem climbing vertical surfaces, which means they won't have a problem crawling up your leg. Little sting marks with a small blister on top will appear all over the victim's body. The blisters will last up to a week, and you will feel a tingling and burning sensation in the region. Those who are allergic to fire ants should seek immediate medical help. The Asian giant hornet can grow up to 3 inches or 7.5 centimeters in length. They are very aggressive, and they pose a threat to bee populations in Asia and all over the world for that matter. If they sting a human on the arm, it will usually swell up to twice its normal size. Coyote Peterson, a wildlife educator and YouTuber, decided to capture one and get stung by it on purpose. We don't need to tell you that he was regretting his decision, right? And if that didn't make them scary enough, these giant flying monsters kill bees for fun and eat their larvae. One Japanese hornet can kill hundreds of regular bees in one hour with its powerful mandibles. Of course, they pose a threat to humans because they kill between 30 to 50 people annually. Usually, the people who get stung are working in the field, and they unearth a hornet's nest buried underground by accident. Thinking the farmer is a threat, they will band together and sting the quote-unquote attacker repeatedly. Surviving one sting is difficult, but surviving hundreds of them is nearly impossible. 
The Brazilian wandering spider is considered the most dangerous on the planet. These arachnids can be found on banana leaves, which is where they get their second name from, banana spiders. One family had to leave their home and move out because of an egg sack of a Brazilian wandering spider got into their home from a banana bunch they bought at the grocery store. They didn't notice the egg sack and the little spiders hatched. Hundreds of them were living in the house with the family and they were forced to move out. When they feel threatened, they tend to raise their front legs up to make themselves look larger and more intimidating. However, this doesn't mean much to little children. They will be playing in the yard, see a spider, and think it wants to play a game. The spider feels threatened, and they attack. Their venom affects the nervous system, which will cause irregular heartbeat and salivation. The venom is very potent to young children, and it is extremely dangerous. Oftentimes, the young who are bitten don't survive the incident. These little creatures have been with us since ancient times. They are called earwigs, not because they wear little wigs like 18th century judges, but because they wiggle and move around inside your ear. The French call them ear piercers. The Germans have a special name which translates to earworm, and the Russians have named them ear turners. Whatever the name may be, these little guys are the stuff of nightmares. Or so we thought. You see, the earwigs get a bad reputation for crawling inside human ears. But it's not like they prefer being there. They can crawl into a human ear just like any other bug. Bed bugs, moths, crickets, and ticks are all prone to crawling inside your ear. Even though it's possible, it's highly unlikely that you or anyone you know will get an earwig. These little guys prefer rotting wood and moisture. So unless you don't like cleaning your ears that often, you've got nothing to worry about. And no, once they crawl in your ear, they will not burrow further and further until they reach your brain. That's just something you see in horror movies. What is the deadliest animal on the planet? You might think that it's a lion or a shark or maybe even a tiger, but no, it's actually the mosquito. Every year, the mosquito kills about 725,000 people. And the majority of those cases, about 600,000, die from malaria. Even if you took humans killing other humans, we still wouldn't come close to the mosquitoes. That's because humans kill 425,000 humans per year, which is only a little over half of the mosquito-related human deaths. The reason for this is the fact that every year, 200 million people are infected with malaria. When the Anopheles mosquito is on the lookout for a meal, it not only stings the victim, it also infects the victim's blood vessels. And it seems like malaria isn't going anywhere for the time being. It's been around for about 4,000 years, causing the large population declines in the Greek and Roman empires. Symptoms of malaria include fevers, shaking, chills, and similar symptoms of the common flu. But when it comes to these little airborne monsters, malaria is not the only illness they carry. There's also the Zika virus, dengue, West Nile, yellow fever, and so many more. Now, we should admit that not all mosquitoes are dangerous. Also, there are drugs which people can take to fight the disease, but people from third world countries are generally the ones affected, and they don't have access to these drugs. See you in the next video.